Hey there, I'm singer-songwriter Colette O'Connor, and I want to share a video with you. It's from John Denver, and he's going to tell a story that um, has to preface what it is I'm about to sing, because I got a brand new song. Hot off the presses. This, uh, this guitar was made in 1910. It belonged to my grandmother. It's the guitar that she played when she was a little girl. And she gave it to me when I was about 12 years old, and it's the guitar that I learned how to play on. For a large part of my life, I think I had this guitar with me everywhere that I went. Mm. I carried it on the farm back in Oklahoma and on wheat harvest. I got hit over the head with it once in a lumber camp up in Washington State. I, <laughs> this crack right along here, if you can see it. And the fellow was not a Hank Williams fan at all. <laughs> Anyway, about a uh, little over five years ago, I, I lost the guitar, and it was, it was kind of a sad occasion to me, and the strange thing is, is that just about the time that it got to be okay with me that I'd lost it, I found it again, and uh, this was last January when we were... So he goes on to tell the rest of that story, and then he sings this very famous song of his called This Old Guitar. And in that song, he doesn't tell that story. And I figured he didn't tell that story because he was telling that story. And he wrote a song about how, how he felt with his guitar. And, but I thought, he's not around to tell that story anymore. And I love that story. And my dad just gave me this guitar. The first time I ever got to use a, uh, the guitar, my dad's guitars, I fished it out from underneath his bed when he wasn't home, so I could teach myself how to play it. And it was sort of, yeah, not with permission very much, so he just gave me this, and, and this means a lot to me, and I just, I connected with this, this thought, and I wanted to write another song, one that tells a story of John Denver and his grandmother's guitar, so I call it With Her Old Guitar, and I just wrote it, so be kind. Grandmother's old guitar was made in 1910. She played it when she was a little girl. And she gave it to him when he was 12 years old. Her Oklahoma farm boy was learning how to sing. strings. Music took him down a country road and helped a shy boy sing. Understand everything. Serenade under the stars. She heard the love come from the songs he made with her own Taught him how to play Hank Williams cheating hard. They practiced it so much his friends got awful sick and tired. Broke that old guitar right over his head. Well, life's gonna give you scars, is what his grandma said. Her old guitar. Understand everything. Serenade under the star. She heard the love come from the songs he made with her old guitar. Life is always when her old blues. He loved. 
lost her guitar once and really learned to sing the blues. And about the time he resigned to have it gone, well, it turned up again and they wrote another song. Take me. Rocky Mountains played his life on the strings of that guitar. When it came to leaving, no, oh, they never said goodbye. They just flew away together, serenaded upon the stars. His grandmother smiled when he came home to heaven. Bringing her guitar. Bringing her guitar. Not perfect, I know. And I'll get some studio time and some practice time behind it. And um, when it comes out into the world next, I hope it has violins and and permission to use that little snippet of his song. <laughs> but for right now, that's a sketch, and I'm and I'm happy to continue sharing his his relationship with that guitar. And his grandmother was such a big part of it. And I got so curious, I went online and looked to see what had happened to his guitar because did it sell at auction for a bazillion dollars? No. Somebody else own it now? No. What I found was that it was cremated along with John's. And so... found it was, had been cremated with him. And that seemed like such a fitting end to such a lifelong friendship, I don't know, relationship, whatever it is. Anyways, thanks for listening.